Hi, I'm Stuart Gibbs, and I'm the author of The Last Musketeer from HarperCollins Publishing. This is, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this because I'm, uh, I'm writing a book, but, uh, but it's a movie, and that is the Raider, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, the first Indiana Jones movie. Uh, that is the movie that, that inspired me when I was a kid. When I saw it, it made me want to become a writer, made me want to tell stories like this. Uh, Indiana Jones is, to this day, he is my, my ultimate favorite hero. Uh, he, uh, he's smart, he's funny, he uh, can get himself out of pretty much every, any situation. He can uh, defeat an entire Nazi army by himself. I mean, what's not to like about that? And uh, he's not just inspired me to, to write stories, he's inspired me to go on adventures. He's inspired me to try and learn about uh, archaeology and, and the world. And in The Last Musketeer, I tried to uh, write a book that I felt would have the same effect on kids as, as Raiders of the Ark had on me. I tried to, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark had on me. Uh, I tried to write a book that, that combined action, adventure, and humor, and history, and, uh, you know, take all these things and, and sort of create a, a breakneck, exciting uh, story. So hopefully I've done that. Hopefully you will like that. If I could have uh, dinner with any adventurer from history or fiction, I would have dinner with Charles Darwin. And a lot of people don't realize that Charles Darwin was really a great adventurer. Uh, yes, he's famous for uh, the theory of evolution, but how did he get the theory of evolution? He got it because when he was uh, just about 20 years old, he went off on, a, on a, an adventure, an incredible adventure. He signed on to go on board the Beagle and travel around the world. He didn't know what he was going to see. He didn't know when he was going to get back. And, uh, and he just went off on this trip. And on this trip, uh, even before he got to the Galapagos Islands, he, he was going all through South America. He, he went into the Amazon. He went through Patagonia. He was, he was finding dinosaur bones. He was finding uh, animals nobody had ever seen before. Uh, and then, you know, in the midst of this, uh, in doing all this amazing stuff, he, he had, comes up with a theory that revolutionizes science. And so I would love to sit down with this guy. I'd like to hear about his adventures. I'd like to hear what motivated him to go do that. I'd like to talk to him about how he, uh, you know, put this whole idea together. So you, you can't go wrong if you're going to have dinner with a guy who's not only adventurous but is also brilliant. That, that's, that's a good night. Well, obviously, uh, it is The Three Musketeers by uh, Alexander Dumas, uh, but also uh, all these sort of subsequent movies that came out. I watched a lot of those movies uh, to pr uh, prepare for writing The Last Musketeer. Um, there's, there's another one coming out soon. Um, they, they keep remaking this book into movies, and uh, why? Because because it's an incredible story. Uh, it's it's an sto a story not just filled with adventure and and, and daring do and romance, but but also a story about uh, th uh, some some guys who are great friends. And what was uh, it really attracted to me to this project in the first place was the idea that despite the fact that this story has been told multiple times uh, in, in movies, nobody's ever thought to say, hey, how did these guys all get together in the first place? And that seemed to be a fascinating story for me. Uh, I went back and reread Three Musketeers and found it was just a... Uh, you know, these, these guys are such great characters. Uh, it, it, they, uh, they sort of... I, I didn't really have to do that much work developing them. They, just, they were already there, fully formed, and that was fun. And uh, so I... Uh, I hope, I hope the upcoming movie's good, and I hope that uh, this book um, holds up as well, uh, you know, so that uh, people are reading it 100 years from now, just like they're reading Three Musketeers now. Okay, if I were going off on an adventure and I had to pick one of the characters from The Last Musketeer to go with me, I could not do it. Uh, because they're a team. You cannot break up the team. Uh, the, each one of these guys brings, uh, and, 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 you know, his own personal thing. To, you know, uh, they, they, they can't function uh, on their own. Because uh, I'm not going to be able to do anything on the adventure. I need one of these guys with me. Uh, Aramis is, is brilliant. He's the guy you, you look to to, you know, crack a code or, or, you know, tell you the historical background for whatever you're about to do. And Athos is, uh, you know, he's the guy who, uh, you know, he can fight his way out of any problem. And, uh, you know, so you want his back. Uh, you, you want him to have your back when, when you're in trouble. And then Porthos, uh, he's fast on his feet. He can think his way out of any problem. Uh, he's also really funny. He's a lot of fun to hang out with after you've uh, you know after Athos has saved you from the bad guys Porthos will have some 
good stories about it. And then you've got D'Artagnan, who uh, is just, uh, you know, he's the glue, he's the core that holds that whole team together. Uh, you know, he's a solid guy. Uh, and so, um, yeah, I don't know. I can't split them up. I, I want to go with all of them. I, I love all these characters. Uh, I'm going out to uh, save the free world. I want all of them with me.